I was on a netball scholarship um, during my first year in university um, and um, doing CrossFit um, as like an accessory workout or accessory to my sports. Uh, I had to choose between water polo and netball and ultimately chose the netball scholarship. And then um, there was like the first three months of my netball, my new netball career that I landed awkwardly, literally lost five seconds of a netball training session. And then, um, yeah, I kind of dislocated my hip. So I went in for the operation and only when they got into in for the operation, they realized how much damage there was in my hip. So went into the operation thinking three months and I'll be back on the field, uh, on the courts. And then basically woke up from the operation. They said, no, your netball career is over. And then one morning, my literally my left leg just decided to stop. Yeah, my foot just started to stop working. Um, didn't think any with anything of it. I just thought that the muscles kind of need to be working a little bit harder because it hadn't been stimulus. Um, yeah, it hadn't been working for like six weeks. You haven't haven't put any weight on it. And then it went from bad to worse, where I lost more and more function during like the couple, next couple of days. Um, went back to the doctors. Everything they did, every single scan that you can possibly think of. So I was diagnosed with complex regional pain syndrome and dystonia. Um, so both are kind of rare diseases and um, the chances of you getting both is very slim as well. So um, yeah, it was nothing the doctors did wrong, nothing that they could have done to prevent it. It was literally just a series of unfortunate events that happened. So I had to learn how to walk, um, yeah, relearn how to walk, spend so much time in hospitals and rehab centers just to figure out how to be basically human again. After I was um, diagnosed with everything, I literally I just woke up one morning and I was like, I'm tired of feeling this way. I want to exercise. I want to feel that competitiveness again. I want to I, I want to be the person I was before my diagnosis because I kind of feel like after that it was like the flame was distinguished inside of inside of you that like the competitive flame, the person you were. Yeah, the, the first few months was literally just figuring out how how can my body move. And if I see I'm struggling with something, I would go to the physio and like, okay, I'm struggling with this. How can we change? How can we do this so that I can move in this certain way? When she first walked in here, we saw that she has a different kind of athletic ability and a different kind of motivation than the normal person um, that would just want to come and have a better lifestyle. Obviously, that was also her goal but there was like this, like she said, this extra little fire in her that she just wanted to prove to herself, not to anybody else. And like, especially from the time that she started here until after the games, it was so amazing just to see um, her confidence like increase so much from the time that she started here and then after we came back from the game. Randomly one morning, CrossFit decided to <laughs> announce that they're gonna include adaptive divisions in the Open. It's like, oh wow, I can actually participate in the Open this year. This is gonna be amazing. Um, and then I was actually, I was house sitting one of my boss's um, house, you know, houses and I'm babysitting his pets basically. And then I woke up to an Instagram post saying the top five of this in this division will go to the games. I was like, oh wow, this is not something that I could have ever imagined. Yeah, so during the games, it was like the first few days was absolutely, it was so cool. Like seeing everyone, all the athletes you kind of look up to and like you see, on TV the whole time, you, you get to like kind of meet and see them in person and they're a lot smaller than they appear on, um, on the TV, but it's fine. When we got our kit, that was the most amazing thing. They literally take you to this amazing locker room that you have your own locker with your entire kit and set out, you get to try everything on, um, you get your photos taken and even if like something is not fitting right, they would literally tailor made it to, you, to your body, so that was so cool. Um, but the crowd, over oh, the crowd was absolutely amazing. Like they pulled me through my, um, the, and the event weren't live stream, so my parents and everything couldn't watch. So we literally had them on the phone, <laughs> live, like FaceTiming everything. I, every time I went around, I could hear them screaming through the phone. So that was like literally like cheering me on. So that was that was like I think for me the highlights of the games. Like every time she just competes, I was like actually so jealous of her being on the field because I know how that feels, obviously not at the CrossFit Games level, but I know how it feels to compete and I was so happy for her, for her that she gets to experience that because um, just with all of her setbacks and her competitive, um, her competitive history, 
I know that she, she like lives for that and I was just so happy that she gets to experience that because that was also her first in-person CrossFit competition ever. So she did awesome. <laughs> To the second event was a swim and I really like swimming. I was also the swim was also very, very nice. And the last day when in the Coliseum we ended with a burpee box jumps and thruster workouts. Um, and that was literally the best best thing to end on end end off the weekend. Um, it was all smiles, all smiles when I finished. Not because the games was finished, because I knew I did my absolute best in every single event. There's no event I can go back to and say, oh, well, I could have done this or I could have done that. And that would have made so much of a difference. But I, there's literally no, not a single point in any event looking back that I could have done and said, this I could have done better and this I could have done better.